Basically, in 1882, we sent an expedition, well, in 1871, actually, we uh, sent an expedition with a landing party of 1,230 men into Korea. And we attacked one of their garrisons. The Koreans lose 350 men, including the garrison commander. And only three Americans get killed. And by 1882, we forced them to open up the doors to trade. In Samoa in 1899, basically the boats of three nations, Britain, Germany, and us are all interested in uh, this island chain. Cleveland vowed the islands would remain independent. And by 1899, uh, all three nations had sent warships. And conflict was building, but all of this got averted by the fact that a uh, typhoon hit the fleet and it uh, beached some of the vessels, even damaged some of them. Now, why at this time is America ready to expand? Well, guys, because like I said, what happened in 1890? What did the U.S. Census Bureau announce? There was no more frontier. Yeah, there's no more frontier. Guys, we got to go out there and we got to find that frontier. We've got to expand. Not only that, but because of the Depression of 1893, we're only selling to other Americans. What we got to do is we got to build markets with other nations so that we can sell our goods to them. So if there is a hiccup over here, it won't be anywhere near as catastrophic. And also, guys, we got to face it. America has a missionary impulse. Now back then, it was the gospel of Jesus Christ that they wanted to spread. Are we spreading a gospel? Right now in Afghanistan and in uh, Iraq, what's the gospel we're spreading now? No, what's the gospel we're spreading? Gospel is just the good news. What's the good news we're spreading now? What was the good news we spread to Iran? I mean, Iraq. We'd love to spread it to Iran. It wasn't Iran. We want to spread it to Afghanistan. The gospel of democracy. Teach people how to rule themselves. <clears throat> now also at this time, since the Civil War, no real money had been spent on our Navy. Indeed, they said the only good use for the wooden ships was firewood. Indeed, a coal barge hit one of our naval vessels, and a congressman joked that our Navy was too slow to get out of the way. But then comes like the Commodore, Alfred Thayer Mann, who was the president of the Naval War College. He gave numerous lectures, wrote articles in the still influential book, The Influence of Sea Power Upon History, from 1600 to 1789. He stated a strong merchant marine made a nation strong and you needed a strong navy to support that merchant marine. The merchant marine are basically the boats that carry all the goods. Basically, uh, he wanted to build a huge expansion of the navy. In 1889, the Secretary of the Navy Benjamin Tracy urged Congress to modernize the Navy and expand it with like 18 more battleships, up from two, 50 new cruisers, even more smaller vessels. And even though Congress didn't approve it, uh, they did vote in 1890 to create a modern Navy centered on battleships. Now, of course, one can't uh, go away 
from the fact that social Darwinism seemed to justify imperialism, if we can build bigger, stronger, and faster ships, then we should be able to do so. I don't think you guys want to take any more notes. 